Welcome to Universal Man. My name is Mark Quepp and I'm here to help you sharpen your masculine edge. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how quitting porn is the rite of passage for the modern man that helps him overcome the vices of the modern world as well as the philosophical pitfalls. <laughs> Okay, so the modern world holds more potential for the individual than any other time in history. Our advances in society, in technology, have empowered each person to be able to make, you know, a huge positive impact on their environment, as well as, you know, live a relatively comfortable and good life, as long as they can, you know, put things in the proper order. One of the biggest problems I see getting in the way of people successfully doing that is that while we've advanced in a lot of good ways, we've also advanced in our vices. Uh, the modern vices have uh, evolved in such a way that it can be very easy to become trapped by them so that you cannot thrive. The way I see it, a vice is something that's naturally pleasurable. It's pleasurable on kind of an instinctual or biological level. Um, but if you indulge in it uh, to excess, especially, it's going to have a very negative impact on your life, but it can be very difficult to resist that indulgence. So for example, we've got you know super you know high calorie, you know, high flavor foods that are very easy to get fat and sick off of. We've got super stimulating clickbait trash media that knows how to press all of our buttons that, you know, want drama, that want intrigue and novelty, and just really kind of fill your mind with junk. We've got the mass popularity contest of social media where people essentially outsource their uh, personality and their values uh, for the sake of getting these arbitrary internet points. We've got drugs and pills and potions for pretty much everything under the sun, many with more negative side effects than positive side effects. And, uh, you know, if you don't like your life, you can escape into one of the incredibly robust and detailed video game worlds where you can, uh, you know, level up your video game avatar uh, while your real life falls apart. And if all this doesn't work for you, you've always got porn. Uh, the demonic bride of the modern masturbatory man. Uh, it's that uh, <laughs> succubus found in every pocket in the form of a cell phone, phone that's stealing the energy of men and also their morality uh, at rates in which I don't think we've ever experienced. The result of all these sort of things is if you don't defend yourself against them, you will very quickly get your health, your morality, your vitality, your effectiveness stolen from you, and you will be mired down in these pits of vice. And by and large, I believe that is what is happening, especially to men uh, in very large numbers. Our capacity to induce pleasure and stimulation has outpaced are socialization mechanisms that would equip us to navigate these seas of temptation. And men are the ones who are really suffering here. You, if you look at the stats, I mean, what is it? Men have lower graduation rates, higher suicide rates, uh, higher incarceration rates, higher rates of homelessness, uh, higher rates of drug use, and are more likely to uh, be served divorce papers. So, you know, this is a this is particularly impactful on men. And you know, as universal man, uh, this is something that we really want to look at. In previous cultures and societies there were you know rights of initiation rights of passage that were designed to instill someone with the you know the tools the experiences and, and uh, the, help them have a transition into adulthood where they could you know navigate their society effectively and become a, a productive member become someone who could really thrive and and uh, you know function well and this is what we need now we need something for the modern man so that he can enter into this modern world full of vice, full of temptation, full of things that would tear him down so that he can, you know, thrive, so that he can actually use all of the potential of the modern world rather than just, you know, get, get caught in the corners and the, the cracks of it. Thankfully, I believe that this process already exists and it's been discovered by people in the porn addiction recovery community. Men by the thousands are quitting porn voluntarily by going through periods of abstinence. And on the surface, this was initially, you know, explored uh, because it can help you overcome a lot of sexual dysfunction. You know, it removes uh, compulsive behavior around sex and porn use, and that's all great. But 
something more happens here. Uh, w when men go through this process, popularly called reboot, uh, they experience a huge number of positive side effects that go beyond just the realm of sexual health. They become stronger, more disciplined, more focused. They reconnect with a vitality in life. They uh, gain strength that then enables them to go on and do other more positive things. And it seems like once a man is able to navigate the, the field of porn, be able to quit porn, he's able to navigate these other vices, these other issues, and develop a lifestyle that can really help him show up as the man that he wants to be. I know I've personally gone through this process, and you know a lot of my previous videos were all about this. But you know if you don't believe me, you can look up all the reboot accounts, and you know you'll find them by the hundreds of men whose whose lives have just been completely transformed. So basically, I believe quitting porn is the rite of passage for the modern man that will prepare him to show up as his best self in this modern world. And I believe this for a number of reasons. First, for the ubiquity. Every man's got a sex drive and he needs to learn how to come to terms with it. Also, most men have developed a you know compulsive habit around porn and masturbation use many times to the point of addiction. So this becomes a common challenge that men can overcome and develop a, a shared tool set around, develop community around. It's something that's you know almost universal uh, for men in the modern world. The second reason I think it's good is because of the level of self-control that you have to uh, develop in order to do this is insane. Uh, the ability to, uh, you know, overcome a porn or a masturbation addiction, I think is fundamentally different than overcoming any other kind of addiction because, you know, uh, in most cases, it's like an instance of, you know, cutting out going to the liquor store or a bar, cutting out going to your drug dealer. But for overcoming porn addiction, I mean, we are all, we always have access to porn. We always have smartphones. We always got access to the internet. And so that the level of self-control and self-mastery needed to conquer this is just on an entirely different level. And therefore, going through the process is that much more valuable because you become that much more powerful. Additionally, it's very difficult to just cut this kind of stuff out and not make any other changes. It almost forces you to make positive lifestyle changes and you know your your baseline habits. It, it forces you to set up um, a, a baseline of you know hygiene in terms of you know sleep, uh, exercise, uh, you know basic diet, just you know uh, basic socialization. Like you can't just quit porn in a vacuum. You can't quit masturbation in a vacuum. You need to be putting your energy into healthier areas. You need to redistribute things in a more beneficial way in your life. But the final reason I think quitting porn is such an important rite of passage for men is because of how it forces you to confront the darker elements of masculinity. Very often tied up in all this stuff are the, you know, those, those potent, darker, uh, sexual, aggressive elements. You know, that part of you, that part of your masculinity, that part of your masculine biology that can very much turn toward the side of darkness, right? And it forces you to look at that part and learn how to get control of it. You know, you could call this the, the, the confrontation with the shadow or the integration of the shadow. So these darker, aggressive energies, which are normally relegated to, uh, you know, private acts of indulgence, they can then be really uh, captured and, and rewired to serve your greater good. And this is a lot of what we talk about here in Universal Man, learning how to use these potent forces inside of you for good rather than for evil. This is the idea of learning how to make love to life, this idea of sexual transmutation where you put all of that energy that initial, that uh, maybe previously just went toward unhelpful vices and that sort of thing, and you can leverage it to, to pursue things that really mean something to you, this, that are, are valuable to you, that uh, create progress and goodness and fruitfulness for yourself and for other people. So I believe if you master yourself enough to quit porn, quit masturbation, you are going to be able to thrive in this modern world. You will have developed the strength and self-mastery needed to really be your best. Now, the thing that I see being the biggest obstacle for men engaging in this path is really the, the philosophical end of this whole problem. You could basically call it the, the, the problem of uh, postmodernism. Uh, in a lot of ways. And, you know, a lot of you have referenced Jordan Peterson in the comments, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of him, and he talks about this a lot. But the, the basic idea of postmodernism is that 
there is an infinite number of ways in which you can interpret reality. You can interpret meaning. You know, you could, in, you know, interpret something, you know, X, Y, Z way. And just because you can do that, it says then that everything's kind of arbitrary and meaningless. No interpretation is better than any other interpretation. Basically, it says that you are kind of your own God. You get to decide your own uh, sense of truth. You get to uh, relatively determine what's good for you and, you know, do that no matter what it is. It's this idea that is pretty much deconstructed and done away with a lot of the, uh, you know, older traditions and morals and stuff like that, that, you know, our society has been built upon. And that's got its own, you know, issues in and of itself. But when it relates to this process of quitting porn, what it does is it enables someone to constantly rationalize their own poor behavior. It basically says that this whole concept of being better or improving yourself, you know, that's just an opinion. That's just an idea. That's just, you know, something I don't need to do because it's not real. You know, it's just your opinion, man. I can look at it this way, you know, masturbation and porn. That's just my style. That's just what I love to do. I want to be caught in vice. I want to be, you know, limiting, living this limited existence, but I'm not going to call it limited. I'm just going to say that, you know, I like it. This is who I am. But the end result of that is usually a very unfulfilling life. It's not satisfying to live this way because when you throw away objective meaning, you throw away the idea that there is a right way to go about things to at least some extent, uh, then you lose your your grip on purpose, on uh, value, on you know being able to identify and orient a good path. And very often then you end up in a path that has a lot of unnecessary suffering. I think the, the solution to overcoming this sort of philosophical pitfall is to recognize that meaning matters. That yes, while there is an infinite number of interpretations of reality, there are constraints on reality that determine which ones are actually, which interpretations are actually useful to you. You know, the biggest constraint being that you have a body. And because you have a body, you don't like to suffer. Uh, and because you don't like to suffer, there are certain rules that you need to follow in order to avoid unnecessary suffering. And obviously there are, you know, blatant, you know, the obvious, obvious rules like don't put your hand in fire. Um, there are more subtle ones. And this is what a lot of this channel is dedicated to looking at. It's looking at, okay, well, you also have a masculine biology. And so there are certain psychological tools and perspectives that are going to be more beneficial to you than maybe using a feminine tool set. It's about acknowledging that you have an appetite for status, sex, food, companionship, and the way that in which you meet those appetites really truly matters in, in terms of how much satisfaction, how much pleasure, how much meaning you get from life. The solution here is to embrace the true over the fake, and I see quitting porn as the best activity to accomplish this task. The, it, it forces you to confront the truth on so many levels. Overtly, it's, you know, uh, choosing authentic, intimate expression over, you know, the, the fake, you know, it's over the artificial, over computer screens and hand lotion. But it does so much more than that. It forces you to confront the truth of your own internal limitations. It forces you to confront the truth of your own biological urges and desires. It forces you to un understand the truth of how you work as a human, how your choices operate. And in this, you find, you know, your free will. You find your strength. You find your weakness. But you find your also your potential. It forces you to really look at your whole humanity. And I believe it's these experiences with, you know, objective embodied truth that really dispel this, this notion of, of nihilistic arbitrariness that has, I believe, infected this modern world and has trapped people in, you know, a bubble of comfort and apathy and, uh, you know, dysfunction. So basically, to sum it all up, quit porn, it's really good for you. All right, that's it. I hope you liked this. If you did, if you find it valuable, please like and subscribe. Uh, maybe follow me on social media. Um, also, if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff, head on over to universalman.com. Sign up for my newsletter. I'm currently in the process of finishing up a uh, new course on sexual transmutation, quitting porn, that sort of thing. And I'm really excited to, to be getting out more of that to all of you. Um, you can also go to nofapacademy.com and sign up for my 
course that already exists on quitting porn, which has already helped thousands of people transform their lives. Um, and that's really good too if you want something now. But other than that, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next one.